So towards the end of this week, we have to leave this car park that has been home for nearly three months. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Like everybody, the coronavirus is affecting our daily lives and our around the world drive has now come to a standstill. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We're going to be telling you our plans over the coming weeks and months and uh, sharing that with you. So uh, watch this space. First thing in the morning, I was woken up today by a cat who jumped on the bed. I think we left the front window open, but she won't go out at the moment because we've got Cinders and her kitten waiting there and uh, there's a bit of cat friction going on. <laughs> right. That's you need to go <laughs> you need to go out now. That's because you're a feral cat and you like to You're a wild people. cat that's decided to come in the van and every time we touch you, you're like, I ain't going. Yeah. And then you do this cute thing. Yeah. It doesn't work. Bribed with cheese, she's out. So some of you that have been following us on our social media platforms We'll know that we've had a little bit of a problem with our new GoPro that we bought uh, just over a year ago in Panama City because the uh, record button has actually worn out. And uh, cut a long story short, we've arranged to return it to, to GoPro and they're going to send a replacement back to the UK. Um, but that doesn't help us because we record these videos vlogging talking to our GoPro. So we ordered one online um, about a week ago and it should have been here within a couple of days uh, from uh, the UPS courier here in Istanbul. But it's been a little bit tricky. I know we had trouble finding this car park when we arrived. Um, but yeah, there's been no sign of the uh, delivery driver, even though they've attempted to deliver three times. So uh, we've just been, I've just been online to the company that I bought it from and they've been absolutely fabulous. Um, and they've given, they've contacted UPS. Apparently the GoPro is in their facilities and um, it's only about probably five, ten, ten minutes walk from here. In fact, we didn't know that, otherwise we would have just I think we walked past it almost on the way to the Blue Mosque the, the other day. So we're going we're gonna to go and see if we can find it. Okay, so we are leaving our car park to attempt to go and find UPS um, and pick up the GoPro. I've looked at the map. I have a pretty good sense of direction, um, so it should be okay. And uh, we've got good old Google Translate in case things go a little bit wrong. And they do. And they do, quite, <laughs> quite often. Um, actually, I could take the mask off because there's nobody around at the moment. Woohoo! It's a beautiful sunny day it's though. It's a lovely day. And uh, there's a nice breeze. Oh, Ooh, somebody's in love. Somebody's, somebody's sprayed their love on the, on the, on the car park. We walked up, we're actually nearly at the Blue Mosque um, and it should be left and then left again if my directions are good. Oh, it should be here. It should be this building. So, Oh, it's finished? Close. Oh, okay. Uh, did it used to be here? Maybe. Are we in the right place? I don't know. So apparently it's closed. Uh, let me just look at your... Can I look at your phone, love? We're just going to check the picture they sent us. Yeah, that's where we are. That's exactly where we stood. So, the, uh, the UPS offices here are apparently closed. Not today, they, they don't exist anymore. But it was the shop that sent us this address. So Marianne's just going to try, um, they did leave a phone number in case we had any problems. So she's going to try and um, 
WhatsApp them. And the call to prayer is going. No answer. So there doesn't seem to be any answer. But it's, uh, it's quite frustrating because we can't leave Istanbul until we get the camera. And uh, should have been here at the beginning of the week and it's Friday now. I should have bought it from a shop rather than online. Okay, so that was unsuccessful. So we're heading back to the car park. It's about a 15 minute walk in midday sun because I don't know, we chose to come out of the hottest part of the day. <laughs> Mad dogs and Englishmen and all that jazz. Exactly. And then uh, I'll have to live chat them again and, uh, and see what they say. So the yeah. GoPro saga continues. So after chatting to the company, they, um, they have almost given up on UPS. They can't find the package. They're not sure which facility it's in. And because we need the camera, they have agreed to refund us um, the cost of the camera, which means that probably on Monday, after the weekend lockdown, we'll have to go camera hunting. I'm just frying up some uh, potatoes with some herbs, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, um, absolutely delicious. And just for the record, this is uh, apple juice and sparkling water, although it does look like a nice pint. So I'm just cooking up lunch here and yes I know fried potatoes and hot dog sausages are not very healthy but they do look nice and they taste delicious but I wanted to for those of you that watched the live chat we cracked a couple of double yokers and uh, our friend bought us another tray um, of eggs so I want to say a huge thank you to Ursul and his wife for buying us these eggs and looking at the size of them they should be double yokers they really should be so i'm going to crack another one into the frying pan here for lunch and we're going to see whether it's a double yoker because it seems to be every egg oh i broke it i broke it but it's a double yoker and as somebody said on the live chat, you've got to be yoking. <laughs> it's Monday morning and uh, we've got a few things to sort out today. The, uh, the insurance is um, running out. In fact, it's run out on the van. And um, we tried sorting it out last week and uh, the guys here helped us. So one of the guys here called Mohammed has been really, really helpful and uh, we've been struggling a little bit with our insurance because the messages I'm sending is not getting a reply. Um, so he's offered to actually get involved and help us out, which is fantastic. Because as you all know, we travel responsibly, eat, adventure and dive. That's actually what TREAD stands for, if you didn't know. Uh, so we like to try and be as responsible as possible. So he's just on the phone with the insurance guy now. Um, I've shown him all my documents from um, my last transaction with the insurance guy and he's just going to sort it out for me. So we'll keep you posted. So uh, we need to follow up on that this morning because we can't actually leave until the van um, insurance is sorted. We've also got to sort out the dreaded GoPro because the GoPro drama continues and uh, we still haven't been refunded, received the new GoPro, um, etc. So I need to chase the shop that I bought it from to see uh, what's happening with that. So Marianne is just catching up with the chores and she's just put the washing on and we've come in to see a little bit about the insurance. And what did we get? We got some corn. Yeah, and mice. Mustard. 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 There you go. They gave us a little bit of cooked corn for breakfast. Ah, this is my sister, my Kardesh, <laughs> who's teaching me Turkish. <laughs> Today we should hear the news about the insurance, maybe. I've got my glasses. Ah, come on. Yeah? Okay, come on. Teşekkür ederim. 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 Yeah, so it's that one. 
Aha, Türk iş. Size zaten burada çok Türk yüksek şey. fiyat yapmışlar. Bak yarı yarıya fiyat fark ediyor. They have already made you a very... I know! I know! This price is for three months. It's because it's on the Your border. Your price is for six months and it's half price. You are amazing! Woohoo! Such a good price! Good price, my friend! Okay, so I'm going to take the money and take the money. Okay, I will deposit the money. I will call now. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you got 700? Yeah. Bye! <laughs> He's so sweet. Okay, so that is a great start to the day. He's managed to find us the insurance and amazingly, it was 700 Turkish Lira. We've asked for six months insurance just so we've got a bit of coverage. And the one we got on the border was 1,256 Turkish Lira and that was only for three months. So it's definitely cheaper to get it here in Turkey. So that means that we are actually free to leave the car park insurance wise whenever we want to. So because we've been in self-isolation for so long in this car park, we've kind of let the beards, the hair, not that I have a lot on top, but it's getting very uh, wispy and uh, Marianne's hair is getting a little bit too long for her as well. So today we're going to trim the beard, she's going to cut my hair and I'm going to attempt to take an inch off Marianne's hair. She's brave. So actually, on reflection, Marianne has decided it would be safer to cut her own hair than to let me loose at it. How's it going, love? loads off um i might need a bit of help across the back though just to make sure that i've got it in a semblance of straightness just check the back is there any bits that are hanging down well i'm not really a couple oh i feel like a hairdresser good job and the things you have to do living on the road I think everybody's doing lockdown quarantine haircuts. If you've had a particularly bad haircut, worse than this, <laughs> please do send me a private photo just to make me feel better. Right, shave time. See you later, General. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that feels much better. I've decided to leave the chin bit because it's growing a little bit nicely. What do you think? Should I keep it or should I just trim it back to uh, my normal goatee? Whack your comments below, but uh, I think it looks okay. I think it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, haircut time. What do you reckon? Haircut, shave. So it's a good fresh start for the week uh, because this week is a bit of a planning week. We're hoping to leave Istanbul towards the end of this week. I was just saying to Chris, we're going hopefully, fingers crossed, in three days once all the insurance and everything's sorted. So I'm just going to use the, what, the facilities and just try and get everything freshly uh, washed before we go again. Everyone laughs at me because I do this, but it just means that I can go to the machine, get the washing, don't need to bring a bucket <laughs> or carry the clips. The one good thing about this really hot weather is the washing dries in like an hour. It just dries so quickly. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, it must be about 30 plus today. It's really, really warm. Um, so please, I've cut my hair because it's definitely a bit cooler. Although I have a little less protection, so I might have to put the old uh, baseball cap back on soon. So a few days ago when we spoke to the company regarding the GoPro, they agreed um, on Friday that they would refund us um, so that we would be able to buy another GoPro so we had one before we left Istanbul. Um, Monday morning and um, we haven't received a refund so I'm just live chatting with them to try and just work out a plan whether we can collect the camera, get a refund. Um, or what we can do. So uh, I will update you in a minute. This During these crazy times, we thought it would be interesting for you to see some of our friends around the world 
and how the situation is affecting them. So we're sending you off to El Salvador to our friends Estefany and Edwin from EC Tours who are going to give you a little insight into their life during these times in El Salvador. Hello, this is Estefany Hernandez from EC Tours El Salvador. I had the honor of meeting uh, these two wonderful people back in on April 2019 and we met on uh, the free walking tour that they took here with us in San Salvador City. Hello Chris, Marianne, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you a big hug from here, uh, from my house in El Salvador. This has been a very interesting time for me because it's been many days. I already lost account about how many days I have stayed at home. But of course, I know and we all know that uh, we keep social distancing and we are in self-isolation so we can keep our loved ones and ourselves safe. Well, since uh, a few months, so we have to stay at home. As uh, you remember, this is my house. So you can see outside on the street. So it's very quiet. Not many people, well, no people right now on the streets. Been exercising, been practicing some Zumba. It's the first time that I've done that. I actually never thought about dancing in the living room while uh, with my parents and my brother at home. That's uh, the living room. That's my mother. Diga hola, mamá. Hola. <laughs> um, let me tell you, I have a new dog. The name is Lobo. And um, so Lobo, he just came to the house a couple months ago. Uh, people are not traveling right now, which means that for people that dedicate their lives to the tourism industry, as we do here, or at least in my case, being a tour guide, has been very or uh, highly affected. My dad, he used to have uh, some uh, bonsai trees, so I've been recovering them. Something else that I've been doing, I've been working in my cooking skill, and uh, so far it's been doing uh, very well. So I've been cooking for the family almost every day and I'm um, very happy with that. Uh, we were very used to being outdoors every single day, meeting uh, tourists and taking them places. I used to spend most of my time hiking volcanoes, visiting archaeological sites, going down to San Salvador and so many other places that I miss very much. As well as I've been trying to practice my skills when cooking, I'm not the greatest when it comes to the kitchen. I'm not a great cook. The one that has been doing all of the things at home when it comes to food is my mom. I've been trying to learn a little bit of, from her and uh, I've been trying to masterize my skills when preparing pupusas. Pupusas are our national dish here in El Salvador. Uh, you gotta be very skillful with your hands to make a very round tortilla. Um, still working on it. Um, I hope I see you. Uh, sometime soon in this uh, part of the world. I'm sure that you have uh, in your plans to come here to Central America. So um, I send you a big hug from El Salvador and please uh, stay safe and take care. I am hoping that uh, more people would come to El Salvador. I am hoping myself I can meet more tourists so I can show them around this beautiful country. When all of this is over, I do really hope that we can get back to work together so you can uh, get to know my beautiful country, El Salvador. So after 90 days, our neighbors are leaving the car park and uh, they're heading, heading over to Bulgaria. So towards the end of this week, we have to leave this car park that has been home for nearly three months. So they've had a bit of a problem in the car park and um, some of the tarmac has been starting to slowly sink down. If you see the levels of the car park, the ground here is just starting to sink here. And uh, what they actually did was they drilled a hole which they put this plastic thing in now, but they drilled a hole and realized that there's actually a huge hole which stretches under most of this car park. And it's really, really deep. This uh, drain here 
you can see that one side of it has actually started to collapse and I'm really curious to see if I can see down how deep it is actually I can't see apparently it's well, the, one guy said it's about five plus meters and another guy said it's probably as deep as the buildings um, so I we have to leave this car park towards the end of the week they're going to be doing some work digging up the car park um, to obviously fix and investigate this um, hole actually you can see in the middle of the car park here uh, towards Trudy that there's another bit that starts dipping down a bit here um, oh he's bought tea is it chai time chai time chai time oh. Teşekkür ederim. Ah, thank you very much I love the Turkish tea they bring us these wonderful cups of tea and it's uh, it's really really nice the guys here have been absolutely amazing so we're gonna lift this up no oh there's a bit there that's like so deep i can't say anything at the bottom oh i can can you yeah it's about five meters Jeez. got it's a very big hole oh yeah yeah i just caught something oh yeah oh it is very deep uh oh yeah, probably best not to stay on this car park too long. <laughs> it's going to be a mammoth job. That's a huge out. dog because that's, that's like... a massive job. Yeah, I can't imagine. In fact, I'm going to ask them if they can um, take some photographs or video footage on their phones of what happens when they dig the car park up because we're not going to be here. Obviously, um, it's probably dangerous long term, you know, with, with it collapsing under the tarmac and it's literally got like a a skin um it's just the tarmac when i looked in the hole there is nothing under it other than the uh, other than the tarmac and um so we'll get them to film we'll get them to film that but also it's going to be very uh, noisy and dirty and dusty and um so yeah, it won't be a good place to do to be while they're doing the work. So we've had so many lovely messages and suggestions of things to do here in Turkey. And because we're planning to spend um, some more time in Turkey, how long, we're not sure yet. That depends on how our visa application goes. But we've got a big map of Turkey and we thought we would stick it on the side of the van, get a highlighter, and uh, plan and highlight all the locations of the places that everybody has suggested we go to and then that will give us some kind of route plan of where we're going so that's definitely going to keep us busy this afternoon you can't actually beat looking at a paper map i think it's just so much better than looking online and uh these magnets have been absolutely brilliant. Uh, they're very strong magnets that we bought um, off Amazon and they're great because they actually give hooks so you can use them for hanging up things as well. Corona's back in the van again. Come on, you naughty cat. Come on. Out you go. She doesn't Come like on. being tapped out. She gets a bit she leery. Gets a bit leery. Come on in. Out you, out you come. Yep, no. She's <laughs> gonna get, I'm not going out, mummy. Oh, let's do the cute thing. Maybe that works and you have to keep me in the van. And from there, we can actually go there, go into Georgia, because by then it'll be really hot. It'll be end of August, beginning of September. We'll go well, up why don't there we... and then we'll come down there. So if we start by getting everything marked on the map, yeah. if you want to look at the emails yeah. and read out all the places that people have recommended, which are loads, there are loads, and then there are loads. We'll look them up, research them, put them on the map. What I specifically want to be marking on the map as well is some people have told us about a, a specific dish that's relative to that area. We were talking to somebody called Tony who was telling us about a little breakfast place up in the mountains. And it's that kind of thing that not is only really beautiful and touristy, but we I want to do the different things as well. In fact, if you have a special thing whether it's like a secret place to eat, a secret place to swim, a special place that is so beautiful that tourists don't know about it, let us know.
So a very good way of keeping track of where you want to go. Uh, we've got the paper map, but we've also got our Google map that we planned for the world trip. And Marianne's been busy updating Turkey and adding little pins in and things. Um, but it's a great way of visually seeing where you want to go. So we've had lots of information from a lovely couple um, who has invited us to go down to Kalkan. It's actually down right down in the south here. So that's one of our must-see sites. Okay, so we finished our map for the beginning part of our plans. So we're probably gonna head from Istanbul round the coastline all the way around and then head up uh, onto the other side of the map, up towards Georgia, come across uh, the Black Sea, and then uh, head back towards Istanbul. That's the plan at the moment, but of course it could all change. <laughs> on, on the pavement, on the car park. What am I talking about? I don't know. Is that gonna be a blooper? Could be. Because we haven't had bloopers for a while. So we're going to, um, no, yeah. So the time is coming when we're going to be leaving. For those of you that message to say, why aren't there bloopers? They're not rehearsed, they just kind of happen. I was going to say, we've had lots of people tell us where to go. But that's <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrible. Oh. I don't think so. Oh, but I'm so cute. What are you still doing here? It's the end of the show. Don't forget to click that subscribe button now and we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>